Hi there! After last week's fairing inside the salon on Vilda, after lots of measuring and debating in regards to potentially cutting the whole front of the salon, we made the decision not to cut. Instead, we decided to install bigger hatches. For that, we had to extend the existing front holes and to add some reinforcement for stiffness. In this episode, we are showing how we do that reinforcement. So, after half a day of measuring, because nothing is straight on a boat, I've, I've finally agreed with myself what is straight and what isn't, and uh, what needs to be cut and what doesn't. I've intentionally misaligned these two hatches a little bit to be able to not have to patch this old hole. So it's, it's by a very small amount and will probably not be visible to anybody but myself. But the hatches, or the holes for the hatches, they were already there. They were not exactly a line or anything, so <laughs> it's not easy on a boat. Nothing is straight. You've got nothing to really base your measurements off of. So you have to do it like 15 million times until you're happy with some sort of average. But I'm at that point now, so time to cut. So we made these pretty big cutouts in uh, in the front here for some really large hatches. Uh, oh, sorry. Originally, we would have wanted to cut this whole part out uh, to have a deck down down here, more better access to the mast and everything. Uh, sadly, that's going to take too long and be complicated to fix. So several weeks extra here at the yard, so which we don't want. Uh, so we decided to uh, enlarge the hatch instead that was already here. And uh, when you're working with a balsa core sandwich like this, and you take a hole into it, you want to backfill with uh, glass uh, or filler. So you decore, remove the core. So yeah, remove the core here, and then uh, you fill that space with uh, a, a bog, a, a filler. The thing is, this is a pretty big flat surface uh, and uh, I am not sure that's enough. So when you take big holes out of something that needs to be stiff, you need to add some stif stiffness back and you do that by adding a, basically a frame inside here. Uh, so unidirectional glass all around and glued in. Uh, so, so because I don't know if it's necessary or not, but I think it might be, that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, I've cleaned up my glassing area there, got some unidirectional glass laid out. I'll uh, cut uh, a two and a half meter long strip that should make it all the way around the edges here. And uh, once I have that, in, that done and tested a little bit. I'll uh, do all the bogging and glassing at the same time, so uh, cut the strips I need, make sure they fit.
So I cut this strip out and uh, 260 centimeters long, and uh, which should be enough for the circumference of these frames. They're 63 by 63 centimeters, and a little bit extra because I dug out, of course. So, so that should be fine. But uh, how do I figure out how thick they need to be? So with this glass. I forget if it's a 600 gram mat or if it's a 450 gram mat. I could take some, take this piece and measure it or weigh it and figure that out. But in either case, uh, this type of mat around 500 grams will give you around half a millimeter of thickness. I want, say, three millimeters of, of thickness, which means I want six layers. And the core is uh, a 15 millimeters thick so 15 times 6 is like 90 centimeters 90 millimeters and uh, i don't mind <laughs> if i get a little bit extra so i cut this to 30 centimeters i'll do to make two strips from that so that's 15 centimeters each which means 10 layers and and that is actually five millimeters of thickness which will be more than plenty <laughs> and now i just have to squeeze that into the hole which is in all places not a hell of a lot thicker or deeper than five millimeters make sure they fit then uh, mix some filler put the filler in put the glass in put some more filler in and uh, then we have a solid reinforced opening in the boat, which may or may not be necessary. But since I don't know, might as well uh, do it. I'll get some uh, glue going, a really thin mix of glue, and put that uh, in the whole window frame. And uh, then I'll follow that with a whole bunch of unidirectional glass around, and then an additional bunch of uh, quite runny glue mix filler uh, on the edge. And then I'll squeeze all that down with these pre-taped uh, battens and in the corners I'll use uh, some tape to keep the glass in place and it's not gonna be super pretty it worked on that side and I'm happy with the results so it'll work on this side so wish me luck it's getting warmer in here these things ideally none of this should go off before the whole thing is in place so.
By this time, the situation and our fingers got very sticky. So unfortunately, we missed to record the part where we insert the fiberglass into the channel. Yeah. Ideally, we want the glass on the inside of the... Yes. And sort of squeeze it in with one finger and then put the bug on after. It sort of works, actually. Then we attached the wooden batten, covered in tape, to keep the fiberglass and the filler in place. So now I guess we'll find out how, how this turned out. because there was two of us yesterday. Yeah. We we'll still have to do some oh. some filling. Oh, this thing got right. I'm stuck here. Ouch. And the corners look something like that. So, a reinforced edge with, uh, yeah, a, a filler. It's normally used for gluing stuff and then uh, unidirectional fiber all the way around about three millimeters worth and then more filler and after the first cleanup this is what it'll look like and then it needs some additional sanding and filling before before it's completely finished. Uh, needs and needs. It's going to be covered by a, a window frame as well, or hatch frame. Where is that? I don't know. But I think he's sleeping and maybe his body is falling down. Oh, okay. He's, he's okay. He's trying to catch something to hold on to. He's okay, trying okay. To, he's, he's, he's trying to... He's good, he's good. Oh, there you go. There we go. 